Good morning and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I look a little crusty today. I just woke up and I haven't done anything with my face or my hair. I just put a sweatshirt on and here we are because I just got my Disney dorms email. If you don't know what Disney dorms is, basically it's registration for Disney housing, which I'm so excited for. So today I'm gonna to be registering for housing. I literally got the email at 9.13 a.m. Um, it's currently 9.31, so it's been, well, it's a 17 minutes ago I got the email, and my arrival date is July 10th, 27 days away exactly today, or 27 day days until I leave for Orlando, um, I guess 20, 30 something days until I actually move in. I have this email and it says that I can fill out dorms today from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'm gonna put you all on a screen record and I thought we could do it together. It'd be kind of fun. Okay, so this is my email we're looking at right here. Um, dorms registration, please take action. I'm gonna blur out any of like my personal information, but you'll be able to see exactly what it looks like. Actually, I'm gonna move over a little bit. The other way. And we'll just do that so you can see what I'm seeing a little bit better maybe. So um, it says, a record show you have not completed dorm registration. This is the first time I asked to do it. So it seems like it's like a, you need to do this now, but like I haven't been asked previously. So we're just gonna go to the dorms page. Participant login. Um, let's see if I remember my password. I'm gonna have to get a new password because I do not remember. Okay, here we are. So you can see my past programs on here. So I have 2018, 2019, 2022, and then here we have 2023, July 10th. Um, that's kind of weird. Hold on, why does it say January 4th? Okay, so we're back. Um, yes, it does say January 4th, and it's supposed to say July 4th. Everything else, my visa, my acceptance letter, my docs, everything else says July 4th, so this is just a Disney screw-up. Um, if you've never done a program before, you should know that, unfortunately, Disney screws up a lot. Um, and it, everything's, like, easy fixed, but there have been so many problems that I've had just because someone on Disney's end has, like, clicked something slightly wrong and that's this case again so i'm still gonna fill out the storm stuff right now but i'm also gonna send an email to support and fingers well they they have to fix it for me i've signed a contract to july 4th so they have to fix it for me um but we're gonna do dorms registration so i'm just clicking dorms registration so i'm just gonna pause it here so that i can block out what i need to and it says my user ID, my name, middle name, last name, preferred name, gender, um, date of birth, and then name tag city. I'm just putting my hometown and my country. I do need an accommodation um, and I've already submitted that separately and I will not be bringing a vehicle. So that is done for that and then we're just going to scroll down to um, emergency contact information that is my parents one okay and then for my personal um, contact and permanent address information don't know where they got that, that's a little screwed up. Um, I'll opt in to receive text messages, why not? My email, my address, and yes. Okay, so participant arrival dates. Um, departure city is going to be Toronto um, from Canada. And I'm traveling by plane. And my airline, oh shoot, I don't know. Let's find my flight information. Okay, so my airline is WestJet. My flight number, you guys are not gonna see. And my arrival airport is Orlando. 
this flight has an arrival city airport within the United States? Yes. Yes, arrival date in Orlando is gonna be July 5th. And arrival time is going to be a 10 a.m. approximately. 10, 11 is what it says here. Gonna hit next. This is a payroll form. So these are the housing prices um, and all that, what that is gonna be. So, um, yes, enter my birthday. Program agreement form. So this is basically transportation is restricted to employees only, prioritized for work purposes. Um, yes, that's all good. And I signed and we hit next. I want to specify my housing preferences. Um, rank this in left in order of preference with top selection being your most desired. So I want my own bedroom and I prefer my own bathroom too, but we'll see what happens. Um, so four person, four bath, four, four bedroom, four bath, four person. And then second, I'm doing four bedroom, two bath, four person. And then we have two bedroom, two bath, four person. Gonna hit next. And then this is just reviewing all that personal information. I didn't see a spot to link with anyone, but I'm not linking with anyone anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I think maybe, maybe I just missed that when I was scrolling through, um, but I'm not linking with anyone anyway, so it's all good. We're gonna hit submit. And there we go. And now I'm gonna email Disney programs uh, with what the heck, what, what the heck because I, yeah, um, I need to, it's not January. So if let's, let's just do this. If Disney screws up on your stuff, um, you're just gonna go to Disney program support, submit a request and preparing for arrival. Yes. Preparing for arrival, my email address, my program type is an international program, my arrival date is July 10th. Um, my candidate reference number, hello, I was, um, I, I am an international student on the CRP from July uh, 10th, 2023 to July 4th, 2024. Um, when we for dorms today, the dates on dorms stated July 10th, 2023 to January 4th, 2024. I am looking to get this corrected. Thank you, Brooke Rogers. Cultural representative program representing Canada and that is all submit that your current request is submitted that's how you submit a request to support if you do not know um and yeah so hopefully that gets switched soon but thank you so much for watching this little dorms registration i hoped it it helped you figure out what you need to do for your dorms um and yeah so now i'm just gonna wait for support to get back to me and i may have to fill that out again i'm not sure if they switch it or they might just switch the date and it'll be okay as for accommodations i've already submitted an accommodation to flamingo and already talked to a bunch of people about it um i will have to follow up with flamingo about it once again and they should be following up with me shortly if they don't follow up with me by next week i'm probably gonna send an email to them again and see what's going on with that 
but yeah so thank you so much for watching and have a magical rest of your day